Hello students, in the last session we discussed about uh, transformation experiments. So I hope you remember we are discussing about search for genetic material and the transformation experiments were conducted by Frederick Griffith and he has used uh, what uh, these bacteria. Which bacterium? Streptococcus pneumoniae and uh, he identified two strains in these bacteria. What were those two strains? Okay, S3 and R2. That is S3 cells are okay, virulent or disease causing and whereas R cells are non-infectious. Means what? They do not cause any disease. So they are harmless. Okay, and uh, in that experiment, we have come to know that these uh, uh, R cells are converted into okay, S cells by taking uh, some material from uh, the heat killed S cells. Okay, he called uh, the phenomena as what? Transformation. And he called the substance as what transforming principle. Okay, he hasn't given any chemical nature for that transforming principle. So then onwards, many biochemists they started guessing this transforming principle, and most of them they thought that this transforming principle could be a protein okay and the experiments conducted by frederick griffith are in vivo experiments because he has used mice in his experiments and uh, later you see the biochemical characterization was done by three people oswald avery colin macleod and macklin McCarty in the year 1944 and these experiments are called in vitro experiments in vitro experiments okay because uh, these are laboratory experiments means uh, they haven't used any living uh, material here like mice is not there here okay and what these uh, people did okay they have isolated they have isolated proteins rna and dna from heat killed essence heat killed essence so they have isolated proteins rna and dna from heat killed essence and now uh, here you just look at uh, this uh, diagrammatic representation and these four are what uh, test tubes and in all test tubes you will find uh, the medium that is nutrient medium or culture medium okay and uh, here they have added rna of s type rna of s type is added and in the medium they have already kept which cells r cells that is rough cells which are harmless you can see R cells are here, R, 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 R. And they have added this RNA of S type. And they want to see whether these R cells are going to change into S cells or not. But there was no change. No change. That is the result. Okay. And now, in the next one, let us see. In the nutrient medium, okay, R culture medium, they have added proteins of S type along with these R cells. What are added? 
what is added here proteins of that heat killed s cells is added and now they want to see whether these r cells change or not r cells remained as it is means what there was no change and now uh, uh, let us see here they have added dna of s type cells and also they have added uh, one enzyme dna is dna is will digest dna that's why there was no change okay uh, and you had remember that uh, uh, now uh, let us see the fourth one and in the fourth one they have added the dna of s type only there is no enzyme now and uh, now what has happened some of these r cells have changed into s cells some of these r cells are changed into s cells so this indicates that uh, okay which is uh, uh, actually responsible for that uh, transformation or what is the transforming principle and these three people have confirmed the transforming principle by these experiments as what uh, the dna is the transforming principle okay so let us uh, uh, make a conclusion here so you have to understand this one when proteins are added was there any transformation no transformation when rna is added was there any transformation no there was no transformation when dna is added there was transformation and know that this transformation okay whether uh, it continued or not when uh, the enzymes proteases are added okay continued and uh, when rnases are added okay the transformation continued but when dnases are added and dna is surrounded transformation was stopped from this uh, we can say that or we can confirm that uh, the dna is the genetic material the transforming principle is what uh, dna but uh, many biologists were not uh, convinced by these experiments also because uh, they have uh, something in their mind they are thinking about other chemicals so that's why finally the final proof has uh, provided by hershey and chase and we will discuss about that hershey and chase experiment in the next session